Please all rise for the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Feli Kiambao and family, Ganapin family, Rogelio Bejer, Art and Kathy Ilagan and family, Romulus Landoy and family, Dr. and Doctora Gary and Mayet Lopez and family. Peruel, De La Peña, Santos Eldes, Allegri Families, Lourdes Clem, Don and Oji Alviar, Carolina, Marites, Chari, Abby, Ace, Agapito Family, Ed and Tess Santos, Paz and Family, Erica, Eunice, Mito, RJ, Mary, Mariah and Third C, C. Family, Richard Clemente, Lillian Clemente, George Clemente Sr., Lina Clemente, Jan Clemente, Raul Clemente, Joy Clemente, Corazon Alegre, Randy Lopez, Julius Lopez, Rinaldo Morales, Aubrey Morales, Ram Morales, and J.M. Morales, Sally Gonzalez, Carl Brian Cabardo, Resti Tianco, Nineth Deza, Elena Chua, and for the birthday of Sister Ching Arevalo. And for the eternal repose for the soul of the following Epifania Beher, Francisco Beher, Marcelino Beher, Hippolito Beher, Gloria Landoy, Remos Landoy, Mario Agapito, Manuel Agapito Sr., Federico Ochoco, Jemmy Alba, Landring and Karing Almendras, Manny Almendras, Papa Jess, Mama Olga, Ragsi, Maribel, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Lutgardo and Erlinda, Gregorio, Raul Jr., Kevin Morton, 
Leodigario Kiambao, Bernardo Clementi Sr., Ophelia Edetha Reliorraza, Fe Nuestro, Leo Vigildo Raffles, Vicenta Nuestro, Lozonia Dimapiles, Sotiro Nuestro, Eugenia Gatpandan, Jose Lim, Benjamin Arambolo Jr., Salomi Lim Enrile, Romy Arambolo, Mar Enrile, Antonio Ang, Brigida Tagala, Go Gyok Ha, Dr. Sosan Jane Selo, Felicima Aguilar, Hernando Aguilar Jr., Hernando Aguilar Sr., Bayani Aguilar, Gaudencio Siliona, Juleta Siliona, Benjamin Siliona, Francisco Siliona, Lilia Aurora Mendoza, Rinaldo Siliona, Felix Siliona, Edward Siliona, Balbino Auditor, Lourdes Siliona, Ricardo Mendoza, Rafaelito Mendoza, Raymond Mendoza, Manuel Roldan, Virgilio Hamila, Pedro Deza, Gloria Petronio, Pablito and Pedrito Rijon, Florencia Magdale, Glorioso Magdale, Navarone Hutchins, Felicita Sifra, Aida Sifra, Nonong Sefra, Macario Sefra, Sofia de Guzman, Eugene Ferrares, and for all souls in Purgatory. Magpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpag
devoto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang oras na ito ang mas sa Reverend Father Ramil Tapang S. Makisa bigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Upon a lofty throne, I saw a man seated whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Sa ating mga panalangin, ang isa sa mga kaibigan po natin at isa sa mga kapatid ng ating kasamang pari ng Society of St. Paul, si Architect Eugene Ferraris. He was at university. Si Architect Eugene Ferraris ang isa po sa mga tumulong gumuhit sa renovation po ng ating simbahan. Kung niyo pa hong naalala, nasulog po ang simbahan noon. At isa po siya sa tumulong upang magawa po ito. Si Architect Eugene din po ang isa sa mga tinatawag po naming architect kapag may pinapagawang mga buildings ang Pauline family. So we pray for his eternal roast. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be on our while the promise of entering into his rest remains, that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have received the good news just as our ancestors did. But the word that they heard did not profit them, for they were not united in faith with those who listened. For we who believed enter into that rest, just as he has said, As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet his works were accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in the previously mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive into, to enter into the rest, so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and known, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come, the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength. Do not forget the works of the Lord. 
that they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commands. Do not forget the works of the Lord. And not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation that kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men, unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd. They opened up the roof above him after they had broken through. They laid they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, her sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, why are you thinking such things in your hearts, which is easier to say to the power, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, pick up your mat and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, pick up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Our Gospel for today teaches us about prayer. Tinuturuan tayo kung paano tayo dapat magdasal. First, kapansin-pansin, the friends of the paralytic and the paralytic never said a word to each other. Di ba kung papansin ninyo, wala tayong narinig. Di isang salita mula sa mga ito. Yet, even if they never said a word to each other, the gesture of taking him to Jesus and wanting him to be healed was in itself a prayer. No? Alam ko, ito, napansin ko lang po. Yung may mga iba, no? Pupupunta sa simbahan. Para sa kanila, nasa loob lang sila ng simbahan, nagdadasal na sila. Minsan pa nga eh, naririnig ko sa mga ilan, Father, hindi ko po memorize ang mga ganitong dasal. Hindi po ako marunong magdasal kasi ang kahulugan nila ng dasal ay memorize mo yung I believe in God, yung act of contrition, our Father, Hail Mary. Well, maka nakakatulong po ito, why not? These formulated prayers. But the last time I checked the catechism, kapag hindi mo alam ito, hindi ka makakapagdasal. Walang sinasabing ganoon. Walang ganoon. No? 
What matters most is this. Naririto tayo, nakikipag-usap, maaring sa salita, o yung mismong presensya mo. It's itself a prayer. The first lesson is in order to pray, we do not have to say much. In order to pray, we must show much faith in the Lord. If our prayers do not have any effect on us, could it be because we talk too much at prayer? Baka marami tayong sinasabi at nakakalimutan natin talaga ang makipag-usap. The four men friends of the paralytic did not even talk and yet they prayed sincerely. Yan ang unang sinasabi sa atin. Pangalawa, trust. As soon as they brought the paralytic to Jesus, they completely withdrew. In other words, my friends, parang sinasabi nila kay Jesus, ito na, ito na po siya, bahala na po kayo. You take charge. They did not even ask Jesus for healing. Kung titignan nating maigi, no? Dinala ni, ng mga ito, yung kanilang kaibigan kay Jesus. They simply brought the paralytic to Jesus, left him there, and they slipped away. That is how we must pray. Enter the presence of God and allow God to decide for us. Let us not give a seminar on what to do when we pray. No? Sometimes we pray too long and too specific that we do not give God any more a chance to decide. Minamanduhan natin ang Panginoon. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying na wag ta na wag tayo maging specific sa ating mga dasal. Kung gusto mo maging specific, please do. Wala naman pong masama. Pero minsan po kasi ang ating pag-iisip ay ganito na kapag nagdadasal. Minamanduhan na natin ang Panginoon. Panginoon, ito po ang gusto ko. No? Pak, 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 pak. Tapos, kapag hindi nasunod, nagagalit tayo. Nagtatampo tayo. We do not give space to the Lord to decide. The third, intercession. Intercession. My friends, Kung titignan din natin ang ating ebanghelyo, this is one great healing story in the gospel where it is not the fate of the sick man that touches Jesus, but the fate of his friends. The lesson, of, the lesson is the power of praying for others. Our loved ones may not have faith, but it is our faith. But if our faith is strong, our prayer for them will be answered nevertheless. Mahalaga po ang dasal. Mahalaga po ang ipagdasal din ang isa't isa. Kaya nga po mga kapadiho, ba kapag may mga nagre-retreat, kung may kakilala tayong mga nagre-retreat, sinasabihan natin sila, isama mo naman ako sa iyong mga dasal. O kaya kapag po yung mga madre, mga pari, nilalapitan ito ng mga raming tao, lagi mong, laging sinasabi, ipagdasal naman po ninyo kami. O kaya kayo mismo, kapag nalaman ng mga tao na kayo magsisimba, hindi ho ba sinasabihan din ho kayo, isama naman ninyo ako sa akin, sa inyong mga dasal. Mga kapatid, ito lang naman po ang sinasabi sa atin. The power of intercessory prayer. God is acknowledged. At patid, huwag tayong mapagod na magdasal sa isa't isa. Huwag tayo sanang mapagod. Jesus saw the faith of the friends of the paralytic. The paralytic probably had no faith at all, but he was 
healed nevertheless because of the faith of his friends. And this will be our point of reflection. Kung babalangkasin po natin ang ating pagbabahagi ngayong umaga, pwede po nating ma mabalangkas ito sa pamamagitan ng acronym na L L T I L Let's talk. Listen. No? Listen to the Lord. T Trust. Trust. And I intercession. Let us ask ourselves, L, do we listen to the Lord more o baka tayo lagi ang nagsasalita? At sa pagdadasal, mahalaga ang elemento ng tiwala. At syempre, sa ating mga dasal, sinasama din ba natin ang ating mga mahal sa buhay, ang ating kaibigan, ang mundo, lalong-lalo na ngayong pandemya, ang pamalaan. We pause for a while for silent reflection. With all the trust of the paralytic's friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and miseries of the church and the world. Let our prayer be, Father, revive us. Father, revive us. Let the Spirit may guide the church and carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. Let we offer peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget our past offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. That we may be ready to bring Christ, especially to those whose lives were shattered by painful circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes to know everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of COVID-19 and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us in energy, religious and lazy, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue to do work you have begun in us. For the sake of all people, we pray to the Lord. Father, revive us. In silence, let us pray for all our intentions. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, you have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, your goodness of this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever were to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, all the bishops, the clergy and religious especially, Father Paul Marquez, as we join him in thanking the Lord for the gift of life. Remember your servant, Eugene Ferraris, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who died because of COVID in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, 
her most chaste spouse, Peter, James, John, and Paul, and all the blessed apostles, blessed James Salberione, blessed Timothy Jacardo, blessed Elena Guerra, blessed Carlo Acotis, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, be there to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously, Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the sins of the world. Let's go to the Of Christ. Amen. Communion antifold. With you, O Lord, fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Prayer for spiritual communion. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my since I can at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para po sa 80th anniversary ng OLSD, haayusin natin ang simbahan upang maging shrine at studio ng Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta. Anumang contribution po ninyo ay welcome. Pakideposit sa Metrobank account ng Our Lady of Soros Parish. Ang numero ay naka-flash sa screen. Isend ang screenshot ng deposit slip sa messenger account ng parokya para sa maayos na accounting. Pwede pong mag-deposit sa BPI account at GCash ng parokya. Paki-indicate sa screenshot ng deposit slip na ito ay for church renovation. Pwede rin po ibigay ang offering sa parish office. Humingi ng resibo at sabihin na ito ay para sa church renovation. Supportahan po natin ang lahat ng gawain ng parokya. Ipadala po ang inyong offertory gifts, love offerings at donations. Meron ba ang current account, BPI current account, GCash account? Kunin ang mga numbers na naka-flash sa screen o sa tarpaulin sa harap ng simbahan. Mga religious items na available sa ating OLSP parish office. OLSP face mask at 100 pesos. 365 days Bible diary at 300 per copy. Martes Dolores, ang perpetual novena ng Mater Dolorosa de la Pita at 25 pesos. 2021 will calendar ng Mater Dolorosa de la Pita at 50 pesos. Sabah 2021 or Scripture Meditations for Every Day at 300 pesos. Puntahan sa parish office or mag-message sa FB Messenger account ng parish. Available po ang SSP Love Offering Envelopes para sa lahat ng gustong mag-alay. Ang mga envelopes ng mga alay ay pwedeng ilagay sa ating mga collection boxes sa harap ng altar. Ang SSP Love Offering Envelopes ay para po sa inyong mga alay sa Shrine and Sanctuary Construction, Studio or Live Stream Apostolate at pasasalamat and prayer request. All the priests will be giving the final blessing. The Lord with you and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is all in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Soros at B. Harrison, Pasay City. Mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na nakasayin sa parokya. Mula sa Sambua, ikili unit ng Our Lady of Soros. God bless. Sim, Rosa de la Fieta, Kevin.